up everybody and welcome back to my channel today's video is all about my trip to the dmv area this is part one if you like what you see in this video please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to help grow this channel so what we're seeing here is me flying into the city because if you've ever flown at night and you've flown over like New York or any just bright beautiful city, you know how beautiful it looks up from the sky when you're landing. And so I just had to get it. Um, but this video is mainly going to be about my first night and my first day there. I didn't do too much, just went to the mall, clubbing, ate some tacos, um, visited Howard University. Um, so you're going to see all that in a little bit more in this video. And so I'm happy to share. We are here. Say hello, Erica. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see y'all later. Alright, y'all. I have settled in to my first apartment. Brave Mini Tour. We are watching you because I've never seen it. Um, she lives in a studio apartment. <laughs> she got your boat lay. And, you know, I decided to go to this place called Shawarma's Gyro, Gyro, Gyro's Express. And this is the Gyro meat. I got the beef and gyro um, with olives and salad and feta cheese, baklava, um, a drink, fries. And so, yeah, I'm finna bust down and enjoy the show. And next time they'll see me, hopefully I'll be doing something more fun tomorrow when I explore the city. So as you can see, I didn't do too much my first night. Um, but day two, I definitely got out the house and definitely went shopping. One thing about me, a bag, I'm going to blow it. Um, and so this is me just walking through the little area trying to get to the metro. Um, my friend lives by this really cute area. And so this had a nice little walkthrough area, kind of had a theater, a mall, all this other stuff for you to walk through. So it was really, really cute to me that I discovered it. Um, it helps because it was like pouring rain this day. Um, and so it helps to like keep you dry and stuff. Um, so I just loved it. And so this was just me walking through it, me trying to get to the Metro. Um, nothing special, nothing spectacular. By the time I actually got to the metro, I didn't have a single clue what I was actually going to do for the day. I just know I wanted out. So, um, our first stop wound up being the Pentagon City Mall. My friend stayed in the Crystal City area, I believe. And so, it was only like two stops away. And that mall is huge and beautiful. And of course, you guys are going to see it. But that was definitely stop one for the day to hit the mall. So when I actually got to the mall, I was actually caught off guard because the mall is four stories. And I have never been in a mall that big before. I've been in stores that big, like in New York and things of that nature, but I've never actually been in a mall that big. So that one was kind of new for me, but it was a great experience. I didn't go into all of the stores because I can spend all my money on clothes and not food, and that, then I'll be hungry. So I didn't do all that, but I did show you guys some of the stores that I did go into. Um, one thing I had to remember while shopping here is that it was up north. And up north, things cost more um, because I guess the cost of living is more. So they expect you to afford it. And me down south, I can't afford it. Um, like this one that I'm walking into and showing y'all now, it was a sneaker reseller store. They wanted 200 and something dollars for a pair of Air Force Ones. And I'm not paying any more than 110 for a pair of Air Force Ones. You crazy. Um, but they had all types of sneakers. I was literally in heaven, but I didn't buy anything because they was really charging out the ass and I can't get to swiping that early. So I did not buy anything, 
but it was kind of nice to see and it was pretty aesthetically pleasing like look at all the colors um i walked into american eagle i wasn't supposed to buy anything however i did i bought this really really nice shirt i originally went in there for underwear because if you know you know american eagle has some of the best underwear for guys um and i wasn't gonna get anything but they had a really really nice shirt that i bought i haven't worn it yet so i guess i'll maybe do a video on that i don't know yet but either way they had a really really nice shirt um it was the only thing i bought it was on sale because you know me well y'all don't know me but i go to the sale rack i go to the clearance rack every single time and so that was the first place i went to because i can't afford to make an eagle either so I went to the sale rack and I found this really really nice shirt and part of me actually regrets not getting a pair of jeans with it but I only bought a carry-on on this trip and this carry-on was the only thing that I had to go back. I believe this store is super dry. I've seen it on Sim CC, but I've never actually seen it in person. Didn't know it was a real thing. So I was actually kind of surprised by that. Um, so I decided to just go in here and look. I didn't know it was gonna be this expensive because it looked very, very basic to me. Um, but I assume this stuff is good quality. Maybe if I had more money, I probably would have bought something. Um, they have great coats in there. That one, I will say. If I lived up north where I had to get a coat, I probably would get it from there because they looked really, really good. Um, but I didn't buy anything from there because I didn't really need anything from here. Um, next was Express. I did walk into Express. Um, if you've ever been in an Express, you already know Express is not cheap. Um, sorry if I sound broke in this video, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I know Express has some really, really nice things. I have a couple t-shirts from Express, but nothing in this Express really caught my eye beyond, like, their shirts and stuff and their suits and stuff, which I love a good suit. Um, I have, I've never really bought anything big from Express, so I really can't speak on the quality, but I did find a couple of things that I did like, but... <laughs> their prices really caught me off guard sometimes um like that shirt was like $50 which is not a lot honestly but $50 for one shirt is a lot to me at most I paid like $25 but yeah that was Express I didn't really get anything from Express it was just nice to look around very aesthetically pleasing very quiet I love a good black and white <laughs> um now these sweaters that I'm showing y'all these were also in Express I really, really wanted these. I really, really wanted these. They look so nice. If you see that leopard print, that black and brown sweater, I really, really wanted that one. But I didn't get it. I don't know why. I regret it. I probably buy it online. But it was really, really nice. And I wish, kind of wish I had bought it. But once again, only one carry-on is what I brought. Because I was only there for a few days. So yeah. we're seeing is Zara. I have never been in Zara, but I've always heard amazing, amazing things about their clothes, their jackets, and everything of that nature. But when I shop for Zara online, it just never looks appealing to me, never looks interesting to me. But I always like, 
hear great things about their clothes. So I was like, well, maybe I'll have some luck if I go in store. There's not a Zara near me, so I never really get a chance to go in store. And well, I used to think Zara was like mad expensive, but to me, Zara is kind of affordable. Um, some of their stuff, they'd be bugging with the price, but it really wasn't too bad. So I got this really, really nice white leather jacket. Um, and I had self recording when I found it, but it was super nice. And I actually wore it one day while I was in there in DC, which you'll see in part two of this video. Um, and I've actually worn it again recently. So it has slowly become one of my favorite jackets already. Um, but yeah, that was my only thing that I purchased from Zara. This is Nordstrom's. And it actually, actually took up all four levels of this wall. And I was actually kind of surprised by that, but then I wasn't at the same time. To make a long story short, this store called me a broke ass bitch, and I didn't like that. It was beautiful, lots of great things to buy, but me being a broke college student, trying to get a master's, I personally can't afford anything in this store just yet. But I aspire to be able to afford multiple things in this store one day. But it was beautiful to look at, great gowns, beautiful gowns, and maybe one day I'll be able to afford something in there. So what y'all are seeing here are actually coats from Forever 21. To know me is to know that these coats are very much my style and I regret not getting them, but I'm probably going to get them um, later in life, probably very, very soon. But after spending the day shopping till I dropped, me and my friend Erica went out for a night on the town with our other friend Destiny. We went to this place called El Rey. The drinks were superb, very, very strong, very, very good. We got a pitcher. Um, but the tacos weren't all that good. I would give the tacos like a smooth six. And in fact, I think we all rated them about a six. So just keep that in mind if you're going there and getting the food. Um, but the drinks were amazing. And so, in fact, they had us all very tipsy and we only had like two drinks. So, and we are not like, well, I'm not a lightweight. I am not a lightweight. <laughs> But to walk off our drinks before we found something else to get into, we stumbled across Howard University's campus, which was actually super duper close to where we were. Um, so I wanted a tour, but my friend was scary and they didn't want to like go deep into the campus. So we basically just walked the external perimeter of it, um, which was still good to see. We saw quite a bit of students. Um, I really wanted to see what it was really like inside the campus to see what conditions it were in and what makes it so prestigious and things of that nature, but I didn't get to see any of that. Um, but still looked like a good campus. Interesting. I know that Howard is kind of going through like their own issues right now with the takeover and all the issues they got going on there. So I definitely wanted to see what that was going to be about and what that was like. Um, but I didn't get the opportunity. Hopefully one day I will, um, even just to take a regular tour of Howard University. But I'm probably gonna shut up for this part and just let y'all vibe and look at what I was able to see from Howard University.
after making our full way around campus, we actually decided to go back to finding a move. On our way to the campus, we had actually passed a bar area type of thing, lounge club um, called Deja Vu. Um, the bartender actually caught our attention and we wanted up. We told him we were going to come back, so we did keep our word and go back. Um, but it was pretty good. I got a drink um, that I let the bottle girl pick for me. Um, so it was a margarita with Casamigos. And then um, had a couple shots of Don Julio. Actually four shots of Don Julio. So I was pretty, pretty lit. Um, this is a drunk tour of the bathroom for whatever reason. But I think I just really wanted to show y'all some of my outfit. Um, they had a live performer there this evening. So y'all are going to get to hear a little bit of that right now. So that is actually going to wrap up our night on the town. The only thing we did after the club was get some pizza that was super duper good. Sorry, I don't remember the name of it. We only passed it on the way going back to um, the metro, but it was super duper fun to have a night out. Um, stay tuned for part two. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all.